Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jun here. So today I'll be talking about lead code problem number 218, the skyline problem. So this is another like classic skyline problems. So in this problem, you're also given like a bunch of buildings. So for each buildings, you have three coordinates, which is the uh, the left side, the starting point, the ending point, and the height of the building. That's why you have uh, you have three properties for building. So starting point, ending point, and, and the height, right? And then so this problem is asking you to draw us the, the skyline, right, or the silhouette, silhouette of of all the buildings. And as you guys can see here, so we have the first the first coordinate is like this. It's uh, from two to ten. That's the first one. And then second one is here, and then here, 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 right? And that's why in, in the end, it's expecting you to give it uh, the key point, right? For each of the, for, for, each, for each of the point, right? That's the, uh, the final answer here, okay? So, I mean, for this kind of, skyline problems, you know, our a common approach is always do what? So for each buildings, we have a start and end, we have height. So basically for each buildings, we're gonna create two events. The first one is the entry event, which is the starting point. And the second one is the ending point, the ending event, which is the uh, the right side. And if you guys, if you watch closely, you know, see, how, see take a look when we are going to record, when we are going to record the, uh, Mm. The uh, one of the uh, the answer is when we uh, when the 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 max height it got changed, right? Because as you guys can see here, so you know the first time, right? So every time when we're at like a new a new uh, position, right? If the uh, if the max height has been changed, then we're gonna record that value, that coordinates into our final answer, right? So Right, right here. So we're entering here because the now the max count changing from zero to changing from zero to to ten, right? That that's why the first coordinate is two to ten, right? And then we're when we are reaching this uh, this event, right? Now we have we have we have two heights in this in our list, which is ten and fifteen, and the biggest one, the high, the biggest one is 15 now, right? That's why the second value is what is the uh, is a fifth is a 15, right? That's why we have three and 15. And how where does this one coming from, right? So when we're at this location here, right? I mean, we're gonna basically remove the 15. Sorry. So we're 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 at here. So here I think this is 12, something like that, right? So we we have 12 here. And then at, at this moment, right, we have 10, 12, and 15. That's gonna be the, the height, the, or you can say active heights, right? And when, we're, when we are reaching this event, which will be the ending event for this building, which means we're gonna remove 15 from our active heights list, right? And now after removing 15, the, the biggest one is 12. And 12 is, 12 is what? So 12 is is different than the previously than the previously like height, right? Or you can say it, yeah. And which basically whenever the, the biggest height changed, we uh we record that that coordinates. That's why we record this the current x with 12, and so on and so forth, right? Here we don't, but uh, but but the right right here we have we have zero because now the the height is zero. And then we go here, and now we have another one, and then keep going until we reach we reaching the end here. So as you guys can see, so the key point for this problem is to maintain like a list, a sorted list, right, for the current active heights. And that's the first thing. And to do that, you know, I think in Python there's a, like a built-in structure called sorted list. It, it's just called, called sorted list. Basically, the sorted list can give you like a log n time to do a 
insert or or remove okay so that's that and what else so and there's a, like a, you know for a skyline problem you always need to consider like a, a corner case so what's the corner case here so corner case is like this let's say we have two buildings the first building is sorry the first building is like this that's first building and the second building is, is like this right that's the second building so what does this mean it means that you know one one building's ending event is the same as the, the other building's uh, starting event if if we're only like uh, processing the event one by one so at this moment let's say at this moment we are sorting the events uh, basically we're sorting the events by what by the uh, Mm, we're sorting the events by, let's see, by by the x and then by by the height. So which means that you know with the with, with the same x here, you know, this zero, I mean, this building will be processed first, right? So when this building is has been is is being processed first, now the uh, after after removing the uh, the height, you know, basically the the highest height right now is, has become to zero, and then it will try to record this zero as the next as the next key point, which is something like this. But but for, but for this problem, actually, the next point we should re record is right is right here, not here. So how, so we ha we have to fix this. I mean, one way of fixing this is that you know, every time when we are at like one one location as here you know x here we're always processing all the events on the same x all together and then we'll continue so basically we'll not process this one first uh, be, before processing the other events so and then it can fix this i mean if we are sorting the height in the reverse order and uh, let's see And another way to solve this problem is that we have to do some tweaks in the sortings, you know, which means that, you know, when we are at doing, when we're adding the event, we have a start and we have entry, start event and event, right? So when we do the start event, start event here, we will, the first, the first one is the, the call, the X, right? And for the second one is a height, but for start event, we do a minus height for the end event we do the same thing. We have X and height, right? So the reason we do this is because, you know, let's say we have a duplicated, we have a, with one X, we have multiple events. And in this case, you know, we, we always, we are ensuring that, you know, in this case, we're processing the starting event first because the minus H is, is, has a higher priority, right? In the, in the, in the, in the sorted list than the, uh, no, sorry, not in the sorted in the in the event list. We have events because we sort, right? Event. That's why we are in, we're guaranteeing that we process the start event whenever we we have a both end event and start event. In this case, we'll we'll, we'll process this one first. And if we process this, this one first, I mean, we'll basically we'll print this, we'll print this coordinates first, right? And then. And then whenever we have like a second end, end event here, right? We already have this bigger bigger height in the, in our list, so that we see okay. So this one, the whenever we and then we remove this one, the previously height, but we see that okay, the heights didn't change. That's why it will it will not print this point. And this uh, this is the second way to fix this problem. You can use either way. I mean, the the second one is a little bit tricky to think about, but if you remember this. If you just remember this, like the, like the, uh, the, the, the sorting formula, you know, you can, you can just use it, right? Just, just remember when you do the, the start and end, you know, you put minus H for starting event and you put a 
H for the ending event, and then you process it from left to right. That can solve the issue. Or you can, like I said, you can just uh, don't do that. If you couldn't remember this one, just try to process all the events with the same X together, and then there you, there you go, right? So with that being said, you know, uh, let's try to do the implementation here. So in Python, so we have to import these things here, import con sorted containers, right? Containers, 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 okay. Import sorted list. So I'm, I'm having the events here, right? So the events is like, uh, like this, and then for left, right, H in buildings, right? So the first one, I'm just going to use the regular approach. So basically we're gonna have a lab and entry point, starting point uh, event. I'm just using zero to uh, annotate ending uh, starting event and using one for the ending events. Okay, so it's gonna be a right H dot one. See, since I'm using H in both events here, so which means I have to process all the events with the same X together, right? So now, uh, let's see, the next thing is we have sort, right? We sort it, and then we can, we can do a, we can do a, do a for loop. But, you know, since I'm going to, I need to process multiple events in, in one loop, that's why I'm going to use a while loop here instead of a for loop of zero. I have a while I has to end, right? And then we need a few things here. Okay, so first we need to we need n here. That's the length of the events, right? And second one is we need the uh, we need the height, right? I can call it active height. How about this? Active height equals the sorted list, okay? And I I need to put a zero in in it because you know at the beginning, right? When we are at this, uh, when we are at, uh, do I need to put zero here? I, I I believe so. Otherwise, you know, when we're at when we're at this one here, you know, there's no height zero, and we need to compare. Yeah, because because if let's say we're right here, right, the answer is not. So the last one is this one and. We need to have a height. Yeah, the, the current height is not okay. So yeah, we need to put a zero at the at the zero height. And so to process multiple events together, I'm going to I use this one basically a current event. I'm just using current x. This one event x, i event i zero right. So while i smaller than n and event i zero is equal to the current x right then i just uh, add everything together t we have x we have height and we have a type right equals the event i here and if the type is, e is equal to zero i know i need to do a height start at right add is h right else else we do a height dot remove remove h and then I do a i plus one right so now it's the time to event the same x together right so here we, we check you know so now we check if the highest if the biggest height has changed okay so how can we check this you know we have a oh I, I also need to define like an answer here so basically you know if the current highest height is different than the than the last element then the last height in this in this result in the answer here then we know we need to record that right it's gonna be first if not answer right so 
if it's not answer, of course we need to insert it. Otherwise, we check if the answer is dot minus uh, minus one, the last one, and then the min the the second one, because the first one is the x, right, and the second one is the height for that, right? That's the y for that. It's not equals to what the height dot minus one, right? Because right right now the uh, the height is that's why we you know that's why we put like a zero at the beginning because just to make sure this height minus one will, will never be out of the the boundaries right because you know so since this is a sorted list so at this moment the height minus one will give us the current highest height and if the current height height has, has changed it's different than the than the previously recorded height then we know okay we need to record this this uh this node which will be the answer dot append the, uh, so the current is the current current x right and then the uh, height dot minus one and then yeah then there, there you go we just return the answer so keep in mind we don't have to do a, a plus one right here because we already uh, increased the, the i here that's why it should be just like this okay if I run the code Heights. Oh, active height. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. So submit. All right. Cool. So passed. Right. And another one. Right. Like I said, the second thing to fix this the corner case is like instead of doing this kind of while loop here, a nasty while loop here. All we need to do is just to change this one from positive h to minus h. And then here we can simply ignore all this kind of stuff. I can just simply copy and paste this part, you know, the uh, put it outside here. And then I'll just do a regular, <coughs> regular while loop. I can just, uh, just come out this part. And if I run this one, did I? Yeah, so here it should be X, right? Do a submit. Fifteen is not in the list. Oh, sorry. Uh, since since I, we we reverse the sign here, right? So that's why when we do an add here. We have to do a minus one, a uh, minus h. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So it also passed. Yeah, I mean, basically two ways you can uh, to fix this uh, corner case, <coughs> corner cases, and you guys can choose which one you which one you you guys prefer. And so for the time complexity, right? So I think it's pretty straightforward, right? We have we have n buildings, right? That's what that's we have n loop here, and then inside the while loop here, we have we do a add or remove, which will take log n. So in total, time complexity will be n log n, right? And the space complexity is is O of n. Cool. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it is. I want to talk about for this problem and. Cool. Thank you so much for you guys to watch this video and stay tuned. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.